Live from the news leader in Northern California, News Center 4 at 5. Here's the very latest. Hello, everyone, and welcome to News Center 4 at 5. I'm Catherine Heenan. And I'm James Satori. At the top of our news tonight, remembering the worst school bus crash in U.S. history. It happened 20 years ago. 29 Yuba City High School students and one teacher died when their bus crashed off Highway 680 in Martinez. Today, survivors and rescue crews from that awful day gathered for an unveiling of a new memorial. New Center 4's Noel Cisneros reports. This memorial you see before you is in remembrance. The service of a reunited bus firefighters, parents, survivors, occurred. sisters, and brothers, ago, all related by a crash that was terrible beyond words. A school bus carrying the Yuba City High School choir to a song swap with Arinda's Miramonte High. The brakes failed. The bus tumbled down an embankment below the Benicia Bridge, killing 29. Brakes fail, bus goes over the off ramp, smashes, boom, healing starts. I mean, that quick. Life. 21 survived. Thomas Randolph is one. His twin brother, Robert, was killed in the crash. Thomas Randolph says he finds healing in remembering. In this wreckage of this bus, I'm lying there with my knees are still pinned. And amidst all this ruin and, and, and loss and confusion, and there was something like an invisible song or light running through everything that was actually overwhelming the tragic part. But it's hard to forget the tragic part. When it happens, it's a total shock. Uh, my parents were the first ones down here when the bus accident occurred and Joanne was the last body identified. And they had to identify her by her ID bracelet because of the type of injuries that she had sustained. So it's, it's changed everything. My parents were never the same. Because everyone who was touched by this crash was never the same, Contra Costa County firefighters put together this memorial. They paid for it, designed it, chose its location near the bridge. If, if it did one thing, it probably made me appreciate my family and, and the relationship I had with them more than anything else because I realized how... <laughs> how, how that relationship could be torn apart through no fault of anyone's and, and it could happen at any time and so I always appreciated my family and, and, and what I had much more after that and hopefully this monument that we built here those people who are never involved who just happen to come by and read it maybe they'll think that maybe they'll play ball with their kid a little longer or, or just, just appreciate what they've got the lasting legacy of the Yuba City school bus crash is improved school bus safety. Shortly after the accident, the federal government made it law for all school buses to be equipped with double air brakes and stronger roofs. In Martinez, Noel Cisneros, News Center 4. memorial you see before you is in remembrance of a bus accident that occurred a little more than 20 years ago and approximately two miles from this location. We have here with us today some of the survivors and loved ones of those survivors at that bus accident. We also have some of the loved ones of those who did not survive. 
Some are here, some are not, whose lives were touched by this tragic accident. This memorial is dedicated to all of us. Tom Randolph, who's a survivor of the accident, is going to speak to us. We'll start our program. Thank you, Tom.